or is that somebody right, around here? Right. I'm writing on it. Oh, you know. Okay. Well, we okay. okay. the amount due to these new ones, and I can't remember. Um, can I see the claims? I can tell you real quick, because I wrote on the claims for the insurance how much was due to the new, because we get billed for those right. all, all at once, because it's an addendum. We get billed quarterly on all <coughs> the stuff that's already on our policy, but if we do an addendum through the year, we get, we get the full bill for the year. Um, so you can see how much those were. I'm, I'm, I have a number in my head, but I'm afraid to say it out loud and be wrong. Um, here they are. $3,257. So for the year is the insurance on the new vehicles. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's, we don't need a bank to spin that up all tomorrow because somebody sells it. There it is. Thank you, ma'am. Susie? Also, oh, the life insurance has been canceled for the life that we used for uh, February 1st and then we sent out. Do you get my email with the beneficiary for no, I got it. Oh, okay. you can't do anything with No, it's okay. I just kind of hear that updated so we have that on file. Um, and I reached out to Misha, our ASLAC rep, to get some open enrollment dates set up for the ASLAC renewal coming up in April. And once I hear back from her, I'll coordinate with Amanda. If you remember, we talked last last month that Susie thinks it would be a good time. We'll have everybody fill out there. You have the life insurance through the county. Have them update their beneficiary form because I know we lose track of that. Yeah, it's a good thing to have them. We'll keep them on file. Um, that's just something good to update every year or multiple times. Okay. Well, that send those out. And if you want me to send them out to the retired youth, let me know and I can get them out. I have the big one from before. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, no problem. And that's all I have. Thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Department heads? Lisa? I don't have anything. 
Jim, you got anything? Uh, no, not from the
Well, we're trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. <laughs> this agenda item says 911 ETSB funding. But that was... Uh, I'm not... I'm not sure that's worded right. We, we were going to talk about the contracts. I couldn't right. get... I don't have... Uh, I don't have the original one. I didn't know if you guys wanted to look through this and discuss it. I know some of you have concerns as well as I do. Uh, so we're hoping to get some things changed around. Do we need a motion on the dollar amount to fund it? Uh, not, well, until we get this all settled, we need to, have, we need to make a motion to fund joint dispatch, to fund the dispatchers for that 13000 that we, we budgeted. We budgeted $13,615.16 a month mm -hmm. for the dispatchers. I'll make that motion then to fund it. So we'll we go ahead and do that? Yep. I'll second that. And a motion and a second. Roll roll. Danny second? Yeah. Make sure these people are still funded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was budget of money. Yeah. Right. Right. We budgeted 162, which breaks down to... Budget. I always like to see budget of money. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't like to see anything that isn't budgeted. All right. But here's the revised contract, which we hadn't got to see before the last month's meeting. Uh, yes, please. I, I'm sorry. That's okay. Schmidt. Oh. Yes. Phil. Yes. Curtis. Yes. Raymond. Yes. Hanson. Yes. So, have you guys looked at this? You no. Just got uh, help. Okay. Well, let's take a minute and look at it. We're going to work on it today? Well, we can discuss it, and, and if there's anything we have issues with, we can uh, set in motion for what we need to change and discuss it. I think that can all help you. Tell you something while you're reading. Go ahead and read it. Let's let's get the read.
Right. Well, I don't think it is, but right. 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 I had some concerns on the equipment side. No. I understand that the equipment in the fire department is, is considered the last of week. How many million dollars of equipment we've got now? <laughs> give them a year notice if we don't want to agree with this, but if they don't agree with it, give the 180-day notice. Uh, didn't see that one. Is that what it says? I was going to have all this stuff. Yeah, it did. That, that doesn't seem right. First of all, a year notice is pretty long. Tell you guys one thing that Susan told me this morning that she's concerned about, and I personally I'd like to, and I told Jim this after PMP, I'd like to see a longer. This is a two-year thing, but it, I would like to see us sit down with, you know, Watsika and all the all the contributing departments, whether it's police, fire, or whatever, and try to come up with a longer-term funding mechanism here, so there is no confusion in the future. That was that was my concern. My my fear is our money always flows next. And right now everybody seems to be flowing fairly well. But if we put this off and do not fund it in a more long term, whether you like the past agreement, the joint agreement with what's taken that, we did have a long term agreement that we could base budgets on and everybody could base their budgets on. And I would like to see us try to come up with a longer term funding mechanism where everybody knows exactly where they're at. You know, it's easy to uh, it's easy to make this go away with a little boat now, but it's not going to be gone forever. And what Susan told me this morning, I don't know if it's an issue. She was concerned about all these phone companies got a thing passed in Springfield. And you might know about this, Nida, and be, be able to answer it. But her concern was all these phone companies want to go digital and get rid of the landlines. And she didn't know how that would affect us. Well, what was that legislation? I know that's something that um, I'm on the legislation, state legislation, and a long, long work with the 99 advisory group, and that's something that everybody is, is all on the terms with. And what the hope is, is to, you know, if that does happen, obviously there's going to be uh, the social media on the call. Your wire is going to be raised in terms of cover for your land. But that's all of the legislation. And, and Obviously, as you know, or somebody else in the room, we cannot predict it. Well, people are going to do it. But I'm sure, as you guys have seen this with sites, that we don't let 9-1-1-1-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-
to be able to to know that my guy how how much the movement takes place like what's going on yeah so I think that's how some of the movies that we start start in my mind what Kyle said was, you know, Bob's not real happy with not having more say, and, and some some of these other people should have more say. And, and on the, the local fire department, so we're not all of a sudden dumping on them. And uh, that was my concern. And I understand this two-year idea was to to use the, the joint dispatch money, and we're watching and us only picked up thirty grand a year more and used that balance of that money. So. Everybody understands, but I, I would, I, I think it's a, my fear is it's something that everybody's going to push off. I think we need to, to stay at this and get this where everybody understands, so nobody's got to be the bad guy here, you know. And then, then I understand the city I'm going to put it back on you and get my next character in county, so you got to get through that. I, that's what I'm pushing for. I mean, I want this done. I want this. We, if we're going to make this work. If we're going to make this work, we're going to have to sit down and make sure everybody's on board. It's, it's easy. You know, I, I read an article in my local paper how I'm part of the bad guys because we're trying to take over. Hell, we don't know what to do with it if we took it over. But we need to have this where everybody's paying on their, and they understand what they're paying for. Because our concern is, is financial. You know, in two years, our financial picture is going to change just because of our, our current situation. We don't know where we're at with a lot of different things, and uh, I'm quite concerned over that amount. Because with the current contracts we have, it's going to be 272,000 more money, and then if, if if we're right on our preliminary numbers on 911, that could be additional 170. You can think that's 400,000 dollars, man. Uh, our income hasn't went up to $100,000 in 12 years. <laughs> we need to have these figures lined up and get things, you know, this is serious money and, and I don't want to hurt anybody anywhere. So. I understand that, but I thought I was going to say you would make Yes, but I, I, my fear is we find this two-year two -year contract deal, then we, we'll be two years from now and there'll be a hell of a fight and what if our money is heavy? Let's, let's pursue this. Let's get after this. Let's get everybody on the same page. So they're, you know, in the past they're just concerned over how we could just all of a sudden start charging fire departments. Well, let's have them in there. Let's say, hey, this is why we're doing what we're doing. This is... And I've had several meetings with all those people, so, you know, mm -hmm. they're... But we're going to have to have a more hands-on all the way around. Before, we can just step back here and let everything take care of itself. And I, and I, I it's sad. I, I just think everything is tore up here. It didn't have to. You know, why didn't, why didn't we do some of this stuff a year and a half ago, two years ago? It didn't have to happen because we're going to do the same thing now. But I, 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 we, we talk about stuff and yet every time something happens, everybody's thinking the worst possible of the other person. And, 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 we need to show that we can go forward and we can all work together. And these contracts are starting to start and I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody trusts the county for I mean, yeah, we're, we're not real trustful of you guys. I know. We do not trust us. This is the last thing we got. But I've got three different organizations that trust us. And they sign these contracts and say, I'm going to trust us that we're going to go forward. I had several of them that they were not going to sign the county contract. And I'm not going to get into that fight. Yeah. You know, I'm going to fight for myself. I'm going to fight for my employees. And this, this is that step forward where our hard work can start working together instead of working against each other like what's going on. And we need to start now doing that. I agree with you 100% on that. But sitting here and continuously battling one thing when we can agree upon something, get that back and forth started, and go forward for the future, you're going to tell me how many people that are here. Our job is to make sure that everybody here is going to tell me how many people that are here. Our job is to make sure that everybody here is going to tell me how many people that are here. I deal with life like that on a daily basis with our jobs down there. You know, you know that's part of our job. You know, we make mistakes down there. Somebody needs to stop And that's what we're trying to do. And I've got to say that are very uneasy with everything that's going on. And we need to make the end of this and bring it together and work together. And this is the start of our job. Thank you. 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 Thank Yes, and I want the best bang for the buck that we can get for the people that come. And so I, so that we can figure out how that's that. But I'm just, 
Part of my concern with this, we had an issue. I, we had several issues. I don't know how to deal with it. Of course, I wanted to have things lined up, but then I got sick Monday, and I haven't haven't done a whole lot, so I didn't have her, all my ducks in a row here. You know. But no, I, I just think we need a long-term plan here that will address the issues that could be coming. And then this is the start of the committee. This is the one that's I'm thinking the committee is a good idea. You know, there's... Tell me your issues with the contractor. You've got issues with it. Let's talk about that. That's why I'm, no, the I'm reading, reading it. Just waiting to look them over first. You know, you're know, always throwing a contract at the end of the look. Why do we have a contract? We have a contract. You know, contract for the day. Yeah. yeah. And we're here meeting today. And we have a contract. You know, because I, I, I see there, there's a small relationship. But they say that we need a contract now to move forward. Let's just get it out of there. It's 30 days. So anybody got issues on what part? Why do we have a contract? Yeah, that's one of the arguments. <coughs> one of the arguments is we're contracting with ourselves. But right. Jim says after our meeting, he said you can have a contract with yourselves. So what's the main thing? No. You don't have a contract with yourself. You're having a contract with ETSB, which is a separate agency. All right, so let's get past this. We're having a contract with yourself. It's not a contract between the county board and the county board. It's a contract between the county board and ETSB, setting forth separate rights and responsibilities. That's what this is doing. So let's get off this. We're having a contract with ourselves. There's nothing wrong with having a contract with ETSB that sets forth the rights and responsibilities of each separate board that acts independently. That's what this is attempting to do. One of my concerns was the uh, uh, home employer thing. These are our employees yeah. and you said that you That's what the contract is saying. Well, you know, I mean, that's what I wrote in the contract. That was a concern that Kyle had that we need to have, that the county board needs to be or that the, the employees need to be considered overall county employees. That's what I've written in this contract. Where's that at? Oh, First page. Section 2, it says 911 board's communication personnel. But that is personnel for monitor. But if, that, that was my question. What's that? In, in Section 2, it says 911 board hereby agrees that its personnel shall monitor the radio traffic. Its personnel. Now, that's, that's been changed. No, 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 connected to that is going to be the responsibility of the county board. You're going to negotiate your benefits, their wages, their salary, all of that is going to be under your control. The coordinator is going to be the one in charge of hiring, firing, discipline, training, management. I'm fine with that, but I don't see it. Are we in charge of something when somebody else is hiring and firing? Down to the bottom of the first paragraph. This is where I'm happy. How are we in charge? I've got a little copy. It is an interest. This is where I don't fit. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. This is where I'm happy. How are we in charge? I've got somebody we're not in charge of. I had a little copy. This is an interest. You've got a little copy. Yeah. How do we hire and fire? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, okay, we got, we got a okay, copy of what should be current. I think we better dispense this to another meeting. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not going to vote anything in a contract that fast. Well, we're moving forward. Let's not everybody panic. Well, we may be moved forward. We don't have to move so fast that you said one of your meetings before. We get ahead of ourselves and then regret it for the rest of our life. I write the list. No one has said we're going to. We are, we're responsible for the employees, but we don't supervise them. I don't buy that. Well, let's get this back and we'll look at the See, I didn't. We don't make any See, we, we, we hurt ourselves a lot because we're not, we're, we're, we're all looking at different pages and it's easy, between the mutual mistrust, it's easy to get things turned around. So let's look at this, we'll, we'll, she'll have it back there and, and we can look at this. Well, 911 is never any of our business. So, anyway, I knew I wasn't seeing that. I mean, I'm not a rocket scientist, but damn, I can read. <laughs> they change this one party gives a termination of 180 days, and the other one has to give them a year. Well, we got, we got to. Regardless of what happens, either way, we got to keep this thing moving, and we need to get this funded properly. Well, we should. Where is the committee going? Well, no, but I mean, we sent the funding. Well, the most important thing is there. Well, yeah, yeah. And so. What's, what's the committee going to do after we signed it? On the left. The funding's there, so. Well, we had the funding lined up. Yeah. The, the, the thing we're trying to prevent is the shoe drop. If, if our calculations was, was right and, and nothing else changes, we're figuring $150,000, $170,000 shortfall when this... Because we're using... The only reason we're getting by for the $162,000 is we're using part of the joint dispatch money to cover that. You know. If I'm understanding it properly, and in two years that money from joint dispatch is going away, so then then we're going to have to face the additional cost, and we don't know what's going to happen with the labor thing with the, the them going union, and there's other things that we don't know. So you know, I, I have great concern for the future because you know, I do too. I mean, I, I when I see a, a Increase between the two and a half percent raises we gave of 270, 260, 270, and then additional monies coming here. The 20, 30 thousand will be boosted up in the next two years. It's going to kill us. But in, in two years, we get hit with another 170. Our our income is not increasing at that rate. You know, so there, there's always a, a price. So we need to be watching. Do you think a 900-911 number? <laughs> that is going to But I mean, part of the time I think we sometimes fight a battle that shouldn't just be us fighting a battle. We need to have everybody else on the same page. Because it's all money. It money boils down to it. Every battle has over money. What do they call it? The finance? I know. So she'll, she'll be back in a minute, but he's in. You guys want to move on to the next thing? Is there a lot with our audit? Orphan's company, or what about the audit? Um, it's preliminary testing was done the week before Christmas, and the auditors will be here next week for on-site testing. So. Okay. What about the audit? Workers' comp audit took place on uh, December 17th, and I have the results of that. That's where they just put the payroll, I take it? Right, they carry out, out our on. payroll to um, <coughs> the policy, what we paid in premiums. It looks like we'll get a bit of a refund again this year, largely due to the numbers they used for public health. Um, 
Oh, That's the biggest yeah, bulk yeah, of it. They use six hundred fifty thousand dollars in salaries for that entity. For that's what we paid on. It was just an estimate that we paid in July, and the actual came in at two hundred six thousand. So um, that's the biggest. Obviously, that's about ninety percent of the refund that we're getting is due to public health. So you can see what the numbers are there. So we're in good shape there. So we don't have an additional expense coming in FY four fifteen that was unplanned. A little better. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is the same contract that was handed out when I got up to speak at the last county board meeting. And Charlie and Dan were at the ETSB board meeting and approved this the this night before the last county board meeting. This same one contract that was doesn't even look like. changing. So you know to say that you haven't seen this, you have. Well I haven't seen it now today. Pardon? Have you seen the same one today? Yeah, yeah. Well, just now, just hand it to me. No, that's, the, the no, that's, that's different. Exactly. That's different than what I looked at. I'm not going to argue with you. I know what was handed out. I know what I saw, too. Okay. It wasn't that. See, what we got, him. What, what, what I had to make copies of was not this one. I understand that. But this is the same copy that I handed out at the county board meeting when I got up to speak last month. But we never, I never got the right copy then. But we never, have the other no I didn't, I didn't have it. It was at the board meeting. It was at the board meeting. Not the, maybe at the board meeting, but wasn't at the night before meeting. At the, he hasn't been at the board meeting. Like the one right, over no one. Yes, the only one in the whole room. Yeah, that sounds right. All the other contributing entities paid. This money that these, this is all from joint dispatch to pay the, the dispatchers. Well, I don't know. But it needs to be in the joint dispatch fund, don't it? So the contract say where the money's going? I don't think so. Does the contract say we're moving on? I haven't seen it. No. Um, 
I found an unworthy way to make it. If I'm remembering correctly, our, our, our total budget there in, in 911 is about 700000 yeah, I had to report one thousand dollars, but I got nothing. But I'm talking about how many dollars that's. Yeah. And then I started getting a little bit of 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 a yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being critical. I'm just trying to figure out the money. The one thing that was my question, and I thought I agreed with my was that when I was pulled out of that old money, money, it put him in his own separate for him. This was something that I wanted to talk about. Why not? I don't think something I would have wanted to do. Now I'm not going to say it's important. The joint dispatch fund is not, it's not the same fund. It's a separate fund in our accounting system. It always has been. Those dispatchers are a separate fund, and if you look on Mindy's treasury report, you can see it there. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know. Because that's just the flow through, isn't it? From the joint What was that all again? $466,029 is the budget for joint dispatch. Yeah, okay, what's the other one? No one's got to call money. Yeah, Three hundred sixty-one thousand eight hundred forty-six. So it's four sixty. Three sixty-one eight forty-six. Well, that's eight hundred twenty. <coughs> <coughs> termination they give 180 days if they want to terminate us. Is that an issue Jim? Can we change if you that? want to change it, that can be changed. That's not a difficult thing. It does say that, but that can be changed. Why, why do they want it so long? Well, we originally started this with the idea that we had two years money coming from joint dispatch to, to, to use with Watsika. That was why that came up with two years. Yes, I remember with Rock. You know, that way we could, it would give us two years to figure out what the state police was going to do and, you know, with the audits and, and how they were going to manipulate the 911 system. Yeah, I'm Danny, fairly concerned is why does, why does it take, why does the county have a year to provide termination notice and the PTSB has less than that? Well, see, that, was my so that can be changed. You can make it the same. You want to make it 180 days for the county. Well, it seems really fair to be saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't well, with that. between that and why don't we, why don't, if we, if we decide to do it, I'm not telling these people how to vote, but if we decide to do the contract, why don't we do a year, and hopefully that will stimulate us into getting these committees together and, and coming up with a better finance, and we can do another year, we can renew it. We can do it. Can we tell you something that you remember that the tax taxpayer went down to 
Everybody understands. These fire departments can get angry at us. But what it boils down to, your money comes from three different places. The phones, Watsika, and us, and, and uh, looking at your, your, your end, you've got 109000 You know, this, you're talking $800,000 budget on the whole thing. I, I don't have the luxury of, of separating. I, I, I know we need to build, and you're going to build, because if we, we do what we're doing here, you're going to save, what, $132,000 a year. So that's going to build up. But we need to get a half of your money built up here, just for safety. Exactly. I, I and, and I'm not trying to be mean to anybody, but I, you know, I can't. I don't. I got too many things here depending on us doing this right. You know, there's 120 people besides all the other stuff. Now, some of this is paid out of, out of public health. Some of it's paid out of motor fuel tax. But we we still got a good chunk of people coming out of the general fund here that we have to do diligence. Not to be mean, just to make sure that nobody gets free. I mean, what about six, seven years ago, we saw what, 12, 14 people? Well, these are families depending on this. It ain't going to happen again on my watch. I'll look at everything. I'll turn over every rock. And if I offend somebody somewhere in the county because we're doing due diligence, they'll get over it. Because we're going to do this where nobody gets hurt and we get the best bang for the buck. You know, I understand the ordinances, the way this thing was set up. I understand that we're going to have to provide some 911. I would like to maintain the quality that we've got if we can. And that's going to require us all to work together. But, I mean, there's, you know, our worlds are different because we're worried about taking care of your section. And I'm sure Derek does the same with his section. And, and Jim on his and all the elected officials, everybody's going to try to take care of their own. We have to try to take care of every government, which is not an easy task. I understand. 
And I'm not saying that I'm, I'm, I'm not being hard. I'm being much more reasonable than I thought I would be. <laughs> this is a two-year battle. We just don't have all these things that were done go away in, in 10 minutes. I mean, we got to work this through and, and you know, it's, it's work in progress. So just relax, you know. <sighs> Damn, I ain't taking my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> okay, where are we at? Is there any other concerns in you guys? Thank you for equipment. Well, it, yeah, it would be better it. than... Well, the way I read it is that there's catastrophic failure down at EPSB. This is a contractual obligation for us to replace the equipment. Well, now she just said that they own the equipment. This is just for like Joe Moore's. Well, I'd be I'd be happy now, with the clear. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mark. You're correct. But if there is a problem with the black box, they the that that there is a responsibility to take care of that because of that. We maintain the same equipment that's there, that everything has happened, and they maintain the equipment that's next to it when it first time that happened. That's simply what that says. Well, we discussed this a couple days ago. Jim, Jim was there, and he agreed with us that maybe there needs to be a word change or some kind of change in the verbiage to uh, have a clarification on that. Because the way this reads and the way I read it is it's a contractual obligation. If something happens down there at EPSB that's not covered by insurance, it's a contractual obligation for the county to replace the equipment. Am I not correct, Jim? You were no, there. You are, you are incorrect. Um, we just had this discussion after Well, policy. I didn't say that this is worded better. I, I, didn't, I do agree with that. I didn't say that this is an invalid paragraph. When you read the first sentence, each party to this agreement shall continue to be responsible for the equipment installed at their respective location. As NIDA has explained, that any equipment that needs, that's owned by the county board that needs to be replaced or repaired could arguably have to be worn by the county board. ETSP owns their equipment. The county board does not own ETSP equipment. If they have a catastrophic failure of their equipment, that's their problem, not ours. Well, yeah, technically, I believe you're right. But if there was a catastrophic issue and that equipment was down, they're not, they can't borrow money to do this. So where do they get the money to fix it? It's going to be collectively done. First of all, you're assuming insurance isn't going to pay for it. Well, we, and we're speculating as to what the catastrophic event is going to be. If it's going to be a tornado, if it's going to be a hurricane, if it's going to be something weather related, it's going to be covered by insurance. Just about everything is going to be covered by insurance. That's why they have it. And mechanical failure. And then just kind of looking at the worst case scenario here, because you've got to pay attention to this stuff. And the way I read it, and I, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, I'm sure I am wrong, but just doing my due diligence here and reading this, I want a clarification in there that it is our mobile equipment in the squad car. Any base radio down at Derek's office or whatever it may be, I mean, I would feel better if there was clarification, even if it was a sentence in there that clarified that a little bit better. Okay, how would you like it read? I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. I'm a farmer. Okay. <laughs> Can I? I, I, I Go ahead. I kind of step on my cell bill quite often. Um, um, you've had three attorneys look at this. You've had several, well, actually, I'm not counting the village attorney, the fire district attorney, the attorney the everybody else involved. Um, to me, you're arguing both sides of this. You're arguing that if you don't get this right and something bad happens, you're going to pay for it. So you won't worry that if something bad happens, you don't have to pay for it. Well, no, no. no, actually at our meeting after the meeting with Jim, when we talked to Jim after P&P, when we talked to Jim after p and uh, our concern wasn't that we wanted to get out of it. Our concern was what would happen if we had to come up with money. And it's not, I mean, it's not a, it wasn't, it's not like you're saying. I mean, my, my, my two cents is this. Uh, there is not a 911 center in the state of Illinois, maybe outside of DuPage County, that if they had a catastrophic accident, could ETSB be on a repair to that system. I'm sure we'll know you're you you bad down in campaign down. If that would have happened down there, 
their EPSB funds could not no, 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 completely no. replace what, what they need. need. So, so I, I believe the, the thing, thing to do would be those, those users, users of the system, system would come together and he would chip a little bit in mm -hmm. to get the system back up and running. So my guess would be that some had a stop document that was whatever finance center it was, what was covered by anything else happened at the 911 center. Then what think of being a third of the the player that would come forward and, and offer some side by assistance. That the county would offer some side by assistance. And then those end users would offer some side by assistance as well to get it, it, it to where it would to be be my guess. I don't think we would have everybody walk around around the table and say, well, well county board is your problem, you fund it. Because if that was the case, it wouldn't be at the table right now. I agree with you. They would say it's your trial route from something. My suggestion is for correction on section four of the equipment. <coughs> to say in the second sentence, any modifications to existing equipment or other equipment owned by Iroquois County Board. I think that pretty well sets forth the responsibility that any equipment that the board owns that needs to be modified then that could potentially be the responsibility, financial responsibility of the Iroquois County Board over this paragraph. I think that I mean, all other entities, you substitute Iroquois County Board for the city of Huastica, the village of Anarga, the city of Gilman, the village of Sheldon. I mean, they all have the same thing because arguably if they have their own equipment, they're responsible for the care and treatment of it. Same thing with the Iroquois County. So if you want to strengthen it a little bit, we can say existing equipment or other equipment owned by Iroquois County Board. Because we don't own any equipment, I just believe the County Board at the 911 Center, I don't think this is something that needs to be a genuine concern, but if you want to change for that purpose, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, okay, that, that change is fine by me. Just a little clarification in there for... 20 years down the road, 30 years, we hope never, nothing ever happens, but in case it did, just clarification. This is mainly directed towards the other entities who do have equipment out there that is yeah. outside of the purview of the 911 board. Derek Carter has $2,000 on equipment. Well, for radio, first of all, radio is probably to the Yeah. And that most of that could damage would be in the squad park in a wreck or something. You know, ain't like it's going to get that way. Or when I, I've had uh, the last uh, several squad cars have been replaced by you know, trying to update the radio and the white water and with this so that the, I don't have to have a mask for Twenty-five thousand dollars. So, 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 Jim, did you get that note? I did, yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. Was there any other issues with the contract? Oh, okay. Tell us. Oh. On the uh, very second paragraph, <coughs> on their, uh, the duties, I call them, who has responsibility of uh, dismissing somebody and what happens after the dismiss if they go to court over the dismissal? I didn't hear all of that. Uh, under what, the what duties and responsibilities, second paragraph, uh, who is responsible for uh, terminations and <coughs> and litigation that thereafter if it happens of the employees? I can't hear you. Right. <coughs> the discipline would come under uh, the uh, UTSB would be under the coordinator who is responsible for hiring and firing. If there is a grievance, the grievance would go in, in initially to ETSB. 
uh, but ultimately through the county board to uh, be responsible for negotiating the, uh, the grievance. Taking care Count, of the county board would never have any say in whether they were fired or not. Correct. Correct. That's, 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 that's the design. design. Well, well we, we don't know. know. Yeah. We, don't we don't know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Why don't? Well, I don't think well, you, I don't think you want it. I think you don't want it. You don't want it. No. I mean, hell, yeah, we're only here three or four days a week. There are months, Charlie. Well, you know, I, I, I want to call me and say, do you want to fire somebody? I mean, you got to have the to come in. you got to have procedures in place. You need to find this back after you said the subject in the paragraph around the fact that I think we don't want to help us on it. That's how you wouldn't stop. We don't want to micromanage these people. It's not micromanaging when it comes to firing. It's heavy duty. Yeah, but if we try to do it, if 20 people here try to do that, we're going to be in more trouble than you can ever get out of. Well, if we, there's more rules in this than you can shake a stick at. No, I wouldn't, I don't want that. No. I mean, if it comes down to a fight on a big dog, then that's, that's our bad. But, no, no, not on a, not on a, they have to be managed by the manager. Manage is one thing, but what we're seeing the overall department is another. Okay, what do you think, Russ? What are we, has everything been addressed? Has anybody got issues here that... You know, the, when it comes to, you guys are looking at risk management of this contract side, and there's no end to the risk management. I think we... I need to, we need to move forward with it at this point. Make sure the funding from all this goes to the dispatch. That's the only thing I did not see in black and white. Yeah, so I like that. Yeah, and you know the ideal check swipe down there. Yeah, I don't like that. They need to be deposited in an account that is for dispatch. That shows on our records here. At we'll least the portion of the funds that goes to. Uh, all those checks that we do that's where they're going to go. Does that fund pay other bills that you were talking about? Yeah, it pays me, like I said. Okay. Advertisement, so there's no... Uh, mm -hmm. Health insurance, any benefits, pay any, PTS, they pay, they pay, they pay, they pay, but as long as it's covered in that joint dispatch, there's no issue. Okay, does that need to be in the contract or something? Okay, we're budgeting the whole thing. Where did you see budget in this? Pardon? Where did you see budget? I guess, like I was saying, folks, there's no, no end to this risk management of this contract. Yeah, I mean, we just need yeah. to... I'm going to move that we accept this contract with these existing changes. Okay, is there any more discussion? Yeah, I think it will be looked over. Anything to look at that fast be regretted later. Well, I, I, I can't stress enough, guys. I can't stress enough. We are all pulling well. We need to get this funded on a longer term basis on a, some kind of agreement. And you guys might think I'm nuts, but I'm just telling them. We need to get this damn thing funded. Work. We got all these contributors sitting down and understanding. We're not trying to be mean to them. But we got we got financial constraints too. You know. And I mean I could argue if I really wanted to stand up and argue here, I could argue this both ways and I could really hammer them with some in different things. So, you know, but we gotta move forward. We're moving in the right direction, I think, as far as is is trying to get people working together. And uh, uh if anybody knows of anything in here that we need to do to, to get this better, spit it out now. Oral? Schmidt? Yes. Alt? No. Bill? Yes. Curtis? Yes. Raymond? Yes. Hanson? Yeah. Can we have this revised before the full board? So everybody gets a picture of it? So. Oh, okay. Do you want to do want to, do you want the change? Well, let's in keep red. it going together. Okay. Thanks, Hopefully this will... What else we got here? Uh,
Okay, we got the audit done, nursing home insurance. Oh, nursing home insurance. Okay, yes, yeah, that's where we're at. That must be an option. Right. Remember last month I uh, told you about a um, email I had gotten from IMRF about nursing home insurance that they were going to offer, and they um, had a webinar, and I just asked the finance committee if you wanted me to explore it or not explore it. It'd be something that's 100% funded by the employee, so it'd be something else in that realm. It's nothing to the county's cost other than the cost of administering it. Okay. So I attended the webinar, um, and I just made you a copy of a few of the pages. Um, there's actually a couple key things with this. One, there are two different plans. One is traditional long-term care, traditional long-term, you know, like uh, what? Nursing home insurance. I could not think. Right. It could be assisted living or nursing home. It could be um, care at your home, whatever. That is uh, provided by Blue Cross Blue Shield. The interesting thing and the thing I like about this plan is that what happens is, yes, our employees would sign up here and it would they would meet here and enroll, et cetera. The bills would come direct to the employees at home. It wouldn't be a payroll deduction. So the impact would, truly would be zero to us. No cost at all. Because we're not doing anything in the payroll deduction. There is a second product that they will offer at the same time. That is long-term care with a death benefit. A life insurance product attached. That younger people would purchase, typically. That product is um, provided by a different insurance company and they only will go through payroll deduction. They won't bill the employee direct. So if we have employees sign up with this, then for that second product, there would be some cost for the annual, the ongoing payroll deduction and submitting and paying the bills, et cetera. That's a key change. The other key thing with this is that this is offered this year with to all IMRF employers, 3,000 of them, all combined. So the rates are based on all those employers. If we don't sign up now, we can always opt in at a later date, but then we're on our own. And the rate would be based only on our group. So there's a huge financial incentive to want to go in now. It is also by going in now, there are, um, and I marked one of the pages, there are four different times they have open enrollment. Um, this will be a benefit that we can sell later to employees. Yes, yeah. and, and all these products, when they sign up for these, they go with the employee. They don't, unlike most of our other benefits, even if an employee quits and goes somewhere else, this goes with them. They can, they can continue it on. So this is an advantage to them regardless of what they do from here on out. But we opt in this year, or if we opt in at a later date, it's going to dramatically change the rate. So we need to opt in this year if we're going to do it. Yes. Yeah. That would be my recommendation. And, but there's no cost for it? No. So this is an employee? Other than you have a little bit of cost, they will come here and they'll do, in rates are based individually, based on your age, your marital status, etc. So. It's different for every person. There's no stock rate that we can just send out to employees and say, do you want, do you want this? So um, here's what it would cost. They would come here. They would meet with the employees individually. They would give them the rate. And then the employee would either sign up or not sign up. 
So there's some cost there, there's some inconvenience, et cetera. But it's minimal. It's labor cost. Right. And it's a huge advantage. It's interesting. This is somebody from the insurance industry, but it makes perfect sense. He did say down the line, if you think about our um, the demographics of our nation and the amount of people that we have my age and older, they're saying that within 20 years, 10 years even, these are not going to be available because if you look at the demographics and the number of people that are going to be older from now through the next 40 years, these are not sustainable. So it's another reason to look at it now. I think we need to put something in black and white that we want to accept the program so employees down the road will be able to, it's their option, there's no cost to us, if they want to jump into it, we'll help them with the paperwork, get them pointed in the right direction so the, the insurance company can send them a bill for it at their house. There's really no downside for the board. No, it's just, it's no, the no. option if you got AFLAC <coughs> at your business, it works the same way. You yeah. just say we're going to do something with it, and if your employees want to deal with it, they deal with it. They don't you don't have to. Yeah. Right. You take the decision out of your part, you're not yeah. responsible for it. Is that going to be any more work for you? No. Minimum. Sure. Th there'll be personnel Is coming to her with yeah. questions. employees seem to be interested in this? I didn't survey the employees. I'll move that we accept this, we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. Up to employees if they want to. Yeah. There's a motion. Are they on the other? I'm sorry. Only one other thing before. Do you have to be a IMRF participant to be eligible? I don't know that. Okay. Forget it. I know where you're going. Yeah. You have to be, uh, well, actually, the, you have to have 20 hours uh, with your employer. 20 hours. But not with the IMRF. If you have 20 hours a week with your employer, you are uh, mm -hmm. you are IMRF. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, are they changed that a long time ago. Yeah. It used to be 600 hours, now it's 1,000 hours, but 20 hours a week, 52 weeks, you're over 1,000 hours. Okay. We'll come to the office and we can discuss it. Yeah, that's probably what this better is. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. So, first and second, we need. We got a second. Uh, a motion with a second. You want to call the roll? Schmidt? Yes. Alt? Yes. Bill? Yes. Curtis? Yes. Raymond? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Okay. Motion to amend public health. Budget. I saw a move by Reddit. We got to do it. Second. Yeah, we got to do it. We got to do it. That's what got discussed at PMP. I sure. I read about it. You, you know what we're talking about <coughs> in the paper, right? <coughs> yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Yeah. Everybody understand? That's that? the line where I would put it. The expense went through this month and was approved, but it would go in. Um, yeah. Right there, this line. There's no line right there, but see, there's no budget. So if we don't, it's a problem. Yeah. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. It gets John in problems. So we got a motion. Yeah. <laughs> got a motion and a second. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Call roll. Smith. Yes. Alt. Yes. Bill. Yes. Curtis. Yes. Raymond. Yes. Hanson. Yes. They were up to management services. They must not have had a quorum. No, they didn't. Correct. Okay. We got a, uh, we're going to have about three motions here. We have to have a motion to pay their claims. We have to have a motion to accept the bid for Pentagon Engineering on a 9500 for engineering and design services on boiler. And we have to have another motion to begin the bidding process on for road projects and then straight building in jail. What would the uh, 
This is our, you on management? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was talking about the, the okay. I'm not having a good idea. I don't know, Jim, do you want to time on these motions? Yeah. Probably recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We didn't have a quorum. Yeah. That's why I was asking you. What everything, the people that were there, the management. Right. Right. And these are our recommendations to finance the CDO. That's what's in our hands. We couldn't put both on the motion because we didn't have the quorum. So we sent them here, hoping they would agree with our consensus. Okay. Just so we know everybody's on board. We only have three people. I'm impressed we got as many as we got here. All right. Go for it. Yeah. yeah, but we need separate. <coughs> yeah, we need motions, motions to pay the claim. Each individual one or just one for each. Yeah, one for each. Jim said one for each. Yes, yes. Okay, name the motion. Well, here you got a list of them right in front of you. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Charlie, take the first one. All right, move around the table counterclockwise. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I move to pay the claims. Okay, we got a motion with Charlie to pay the claim. We have second. We have the claim to look at. No, these are claims and the management. Yeah, do we have that? Oh yeah, right there. Donald looked at them. No, okay. Really? Really? Well, I never vote for spending money without looking at it. Until you get a little older, ain't looking at it. It's knowing what you're looking at. <laughs> Wait a minute. And that's it all hits up on the side. Yes, yes. Why those why they're looking at those are some IT issues that doesn't show on the agenda that under new business. Would that be under management? New business, no. Oh. IT. Oh. All right. All right. We got. All right. You guys, want to jump down to new business? No, no, no. Let, let's let get through these claims here first. But on new business, when we get down to it, make a note on your thing. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, did. I got it. I thought you wanted to do oh, it now. Oh no, no. Oh, okay. Thank. You. Yes. Bill? Yes. Curtis? Yes. Raymond? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Okay, now we need a motion uh, to accept the bid for the engineering for $9,500 for engineering design services on board. Ernie, read the motion. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? Was I in the understanding that part of that was going to be paid by a grant? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that would be considered in your... We got money. money we got now. I read that somewhere. Yeah. Don. Don. Paul. Schmidt. Yeah. Al. Yes. Bill. Yeah. Curtis. Yes. Raymond. Yeah. Hanson. Yeah. Okay, now we need one for the bidding process. The bids for the road projects and that's already... Yeah. Yeah. Who was the second? Curtis. Discussion. Paul Roll. Schmidt. Yeah. Alt. Yes. Bill. Yes. Curtis. Yes. Raymond. Yes. Hanson. Yes. I 
that you are. Yes. Raymond. Yes. Hanson. Yeah. Any old business? Yes. Yeah. 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 I thought you'd I thought you'd bring that up when I asked you. Oh, well I wanted to I'd like to entertain a motion to go into executive session under Oh uh, motion. Five uh, five ILCS one forty slash seven parentheses one C I. I vote yes. Which refers to pending or threatened right. litigation, which is a genuine article. I would ask yes. Mindy to say that she could. Hmm. So moved. <laughs> All in favor? Do we have a second? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll repeat it once I get my recorder. Oh. Because I have to stop. Oh, I can't get my Um, so, so it's a moment. Yeah, we gotta take a time out. Just pull it out. Okay. Good. No, no. Yes. I'm sorry, I did it as well. Actually, Where we're at? What's, what's his business? What's his business going on? Hmm? What's his business going on? Because it's uh, we're our second on that. Yeah, but what's the value of it? Uh, an old commercial building like that, an old dairy. In yeah, that area. Dairy. dairy. Early 1900s. That, you know, All right. Uh, did we do the plane? I think yeah. Yes. So, all right. Old business. You did the oh. oh. So we need to turn the record back on. Oh, all right. I did. Oh, all right. did you turn that one off? Yes. Okay. Got it. All right. No old business. Let's look at new business. From IT. IT. Mm -hmm. Two things. Um, first, uh, before IT. The wind tower permit fee that Bob talked about, that last um, wind tower, they paid $5,000 or so for that permit fee. We took all those wind tower permit fees that we had for all the rest of them and moved them to the CapEx fund to pay for this roof. I'm wondering if you wanted to move that to be consistent over to CapEx, that we took all those permit fees on the other wind towers. Do we want to move this as well to the CapEx fund? It's $5,000. I want to do that. I think we want to stay consistent with that. Yeah. It's better for the other than the Capital improvement. Correct. Cap X. Cap oh did I say cap I'm sorry, did I confuse you? Yes. That would be a, it'd be a motion to transfer. Uh, I'll make a motion to transfer $5,000 from the building permit fee for Tower 42 from the Pilot Hill Wind Farm to the Capital Improvement Fund. Correct? Just so you know, it may not be 5000 exact, whatever the permit fee is, about 5 It was even 5 Okay. All right. Okay. Schmidt? Yes. Alt? Yes. Bill? Yes. Curtis? Yes. Raymond? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Now we need to talk about uh, some IT add to IT fund expense line fund to fund firewall slash back. Backup. Backup server. Backup server. Backup server. Oh. Fund by automation funds. Right. Um, 
the one alone. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that, why that one's alone. Somebody, somebody. Everybody got one? I got okay. Three pages in one. What do you got? Yes, yeah, you should have two. Okay. Three? I got three. Oh, I gave you one over there. One of one, one of one. One of one, one of one, but there's three pages. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So the, on top is a quote that says Dell Firewall Sonic Wall $11,556. Okay? Behind it I have attached um, a previous sheet for like $13.98. That's to renew the license of our existing firewall. Okay, $1,400, which is budgeted. And it expires this month and has to be renewed unless we get a new firewall. On the back of the quote is a quote for 9322. This has been discussed in IT subcommittee the last two months. And it came out of the uh, status of our current firewall being insufficient came out of a virus incident that happened maybe a month, six weeks ago, okay? While um, Area White was mitigating that problem and restoring um, the history that got damaged um, and was no longer available, they looked at two things, our backup server and our firewall. Our firewall, now what happens is um, our firewall washes everything that comes in. But when our users are on their desktop and you have your web browsers open, and my web browser stays open all day, so you can call me part of the problem. I keep it out there because a lot of um, work that I do is moving to the web. Area-wide, if I want to put in a service ticket, it's a web portal. Go to the web, put in a service ticket, that's how they find out, then they have it all on computer. All our work papers for the audit. In the past, I emailed or gave them hard copies. Nope, they set up a web portal, just dump it all out there and we'll catch it. We'll grab it. None, no more emailing back and forth. So you see more and more things moving to the web all the time. We have three to four hundred sessions open all the time here at the county. Three to four hundred. Our current firewall watches, goes in and looks at a hundred of those. Oh my God. Yeah. Hence the issue. This is within two years. And this is kind of a new thing in watching viruses. And so if you look at IT, it progresses. These guys, that are the hackers and create mischief, they find new ways, and the IT community responds. This is the newest response. So it was time to renew our license. We started looking at it because of the virus incident we had, and we happen to be renewing right now. So we have to either renew our current license for 1400 or buy a newer, bigger firewall that is sufficient to meet all the current load that we have plus some. So the first quote, Ari White, that's $1,300, $1,400. That was the quote to renew the existing license. We keep our current insufficient firewall, $1,400, and move on. We do this in another year. We option B, 30 days ago, they gave us this quote from a checkpoint of a firewall for 93.22. Well, we didn't do anything in IT last month, and lo and behold, this month, you know, they, I had conversation, and we had big discussion in IT. Well, it could be fifteen thousand dollars. Now, all of a sudden, it went from nine thousand to fifteen thousand. The fifteen thousand came from SonicWall. That's our current, that's our current firewall hardware, and SonicWall is a very, very common name, very well known. Etc. Checkpoint. I don't. I don't know. I can't say good or bad. I don't know them. But I know we've used Sonic Wall, and it's a pretty prevalent name. So he was trying to talk to Sonic Wall about what we could do to that fifteen thousand dollar price, still meet our needs, 
but he says, how do I explain to somebody when we bought, they bought a new firewall two years ago for $3,000 that now they have to spend $15,000? Well, because the IT committee learned, or community, learned that what they were doing and what they were recommending isn't sufficient. So, um, I did talk to um, the office holders and they agreed to ante up money from automation funds to fund whatever is necessary. Uh, Lisa told me she'd give up to, I think nine, maybe, whatever we need. Derek said one or two. Lisa Hines said she'd give whatever we need. So we've got the money for the firewall and then some. That's issue one. So do, what do we want to do? Do we want to buy this new one for 11556 And now, when we delay, he said this one is only good for 15 days. And who knows what's going to happen after that. So do we go with the 11000 Do we renew for 1400 which is, we know, insufficient? We need to go forward with the, the Cadillac in this particular business because uh, yeah, this is signed. Wow. Is that considered the Cadillac? It is what area white is recommending for us at this time. It's 11,000. Right. I can't believe we haven't gotten killed. If we're only monitoring a third to a quarter, oh my God. And when you're looking at dollars here, remember the departments are dealing with it. They're the ones that are finding the automation money. They're going to come forward and cover it. So. That's great. Um, the second thing is the backup server. This again came to wed, came to a head during the time that we had this virus infection. There was a big segment of our server that had to be restored from backup, um, maybe three, four days hence prior. So it was a big chunk and it was a concern. What we're serving, what we are backing up right now is a year end, a previous month end, uh, four weekends, four end of the week, and then all week, every night this week. So that regard, regardless of when you identify, you may have lost some data. We're pretty, pretty good that we're going to find a backup that's going to store it. We're running out of space a lot on, um, very frequently on our backup server. We have the big tower in my IT room. The big tower every night backs up to our old email server, which is sitting in there. And from that old email server, we back up to an external drive that Amanda takes to the bank every day. Okay? The external drive is two terabytes. Well, we copy it down to the old email server, what we call our backup server, every day for a couple reasons. It's an additional backup. So then you got your server, your actual, you got your backup server, and we got this external drive. So we're good in terms of very comfortable with what we have for backup. The backup server is running out of space. How soon it's going to happen, I don't know. Um, like we're backing up, one of the things that takes a lot of space are the voice files and all 911. So what NIDA sees, NIDA gets to report every morning, and so do I, well, whenever the backup is done, telling her that it completed successfully. And what do you think about every third day or so, it says, warning, you're running out of space. So what they're doing is, what Area White is doing, is reallocating space on our hard drive to give 911 more space each time that happens. So then two, three days, it's good, it's green, we're happy, and then it's yellow again. Warning, you're running out of space. So we have an issue with the space on our backup server, and that's the old email server that we've deployed. What would it cost to replace that with something better? $8,425.27. Or, <laughs> um, what you have in front of you is a quote for two servers. 
what they would do for $16,000 is put a new big one back in the server room in the IT room in this building, and then they put another new one over at the courthouse in their IT room. I'm sorry, did I not give you a copy of all this? Yeah, I did there. Um, and it would copy down to our server here, and then automatically copy over to the courthouse. What that does is, you always have to have a copy in two places, in case you get a redundant. Perfect. So in case you get hit by a tornado or something like that, or the building catches on fire, you've got another location that you can back up from. So that would give us our second location without having to put it on this hard drive, drive to the bank every day. Do we need to do the second one now? No. We could wait and continue with taking the external hard drive to the bank. Worst case scenario, we run out of the two terabytes. Right now we're backing up about a terabyte every night. Say we run out of two terabytes before next fiscal year. Option B would be we hold off on the second one till next fiscal year. Come June, July, whatever, we run out of space on that hard drive. Either you keep fewer copies, keep less data, or you buy you can buy external hard drives for that are bigger. They are these were several hundred dollars a piece, so they'd be more expensive. But it would be a stopgap. There's an option there. So what we could do is fund the first one, not the second one. Hold off on the second one till next fiscal year. Look at budgeting it properly and going through that whole process then at that time. But there is risk, or we could not do any. And hopefully we have enough space to last 12 months, but I gotta tell you, that's very risky because I asked them the 1st of August, come budget time, what are the projects you think we need? Well, we think you're going to need a new backup server with more space on it. How critical? Not critical. Well, in four months it went from not critical and it can, can it hold off a year? Yes. Um, no. Four months and we're out of space. I don't think we can ease out another 12 months on that current backup server. I mean, the automation Right. 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 There, there would be, between Lisa, Lisa, Sheriff, that they would fund enough to do one, what I asked them about was the one backup server and the firewall, and we could get funding from automation funds for that, not for two. To come up with money for the second backup server, Kyle shaking his head no. Um, yeah, it would have to come out of my my office funds. I've got twenty thousand in repairs and maintenance, but it's January. Yeah. Well, let's get. Do we really? Next half next year. Okay. So what we need then is an adjustment to the IT budget to um, be able to spend this money. We'd add a revenue line, transfers in from the automation fund, and then systems expense for these two projects. Do you need a motion for that? Yes, because we'd be amending the budget of the IT fund. Does that mean we open the budget? and then put this in it. Mm -hmm. This whole thing, the budget is a uh, super majority. Correct, right. which you're doing this month anyway for the public health fund. I just want to be clear on it. Right, that's I'll right. I'll right. repeat this later if I know we got to wait. Right. I think we need to move forward with it now. Sounds like it, or else we're going to get hammered. Well, we damn sure want to get to that firewall. Huh? So I'm at, I'm being handled. So. Did you move to our... Yeah, I moved. We open the budget. What's it? For the increase of 
capital expenditures to cover the, the IT issues. The IT issues, which increase the firewall plus yeah. backup. Backup. And that would be a total of how many dollars? Mm -hmm. 20 grand. Yeah. $19,981.87. Two twenty thousand dollars It's going to be that anyway when they find an aid on us. Oh, wait, no, we don't have the line item. Because that will be enough. Should we, you know, even higher than that? But now, as far as flowing back in with the automation funds out of, that does not need to be addressed in opening the budget into their automation plus we have never done that in the past okay we can take the revenue we just mm -hmm. worry about the spending side cool well, i suggest we do that right away you know, yeah, we have more second recommend that be done no. yeah all yes, yes. Bill, yes, yes. Curtis, yes, yes. Raymond, yes, yes. Hanson. Yes, yes. Then I should have voted now. Is that it? Yes. Any more new business? Yes. I move to adjourn. Amen. Here. Anybody want to second this motion to adjourn? Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Why do I feel like it's midnight? Kevin, it's 20 after 11.